Hi my amazing pen friends, it's Jess from my magical planner and I have a bit of an ink sample haul. So Goulet Pens was doing a sale, oh gosh I can't even remember what it was for, but they had a sale on their their ink samples so <laughs> I got 15 of them. You know, as one would do. So I have the little booklet they always send out with every one of their orders. Um, we're just going to go ahead and set that to the side. It also came with this really cute little sticker, which is great because my ink swatching book, which is just a really simple little notebook from Hobonichi, um, is pretty much full. Like we're going to get one more page in here and then we have to start a new one. And I think this is going to be great for the cover. And then I did also order this. This is a brass sheet set up too. So there must be two brass sheets in there. And this is to try and alleviate some of the problems I'm having with one of my pens. I just want to floss the the feet like well okay that's the feed but there, there's this little line <laughs> on the the pens I, I i'm new to fountain pens so i don't remember the name of it but you can floss that if the ink isn't flowing quite right and i think that's the big problem with my monte verde pen so we're going to try and fix it using those but we'll set those off to the side for now and focus on all of these ink colors. <laughs> yeah, I have an ink problem, guys. I think they're so pretty and fun and yeah, they're just amazing. So I guess let's start with this bag and then I'll open that second bag when we get to it. Um, Cause I don't know that I'm gonna do these in any particular order. But I will tell you the name of them when we're swatching and how I do my swatches, if you haven't seen any of my swatch videos, is so I'll put down with a little pipette a drop of ink. I use a plastic bag to just spread it out and then I will use my Pilot dip pen to write in the name of the ink, do a little like squiggle test. I, I always make a little square and then I do just some stroke testing. So that's what we're planning on doing. And let's start off here. So I think I got a couple of purple inks. This one is Sailor 434, or so, sorry, 435. I don't know if it has another name besides that, but that is the ink we're going to start our swatching samples with. I don't think this one has anything suspended in it, like a um, like glitter or anything, but we're going to tip it upside down a couple times just to make sure. And I'll do just a little, no, we're going to do it on the side. A little drop of ink. Don't need very much. It's amazing to me how far just that one little drop can go. All right, let's spread it out. Just a nice solid purple. Always a good thing. As I get water everywhere here. Hold on. I just have a paper towel off to the side that I use to kind of wipe everything off after I've dipped it in water. Because I have a cup of water and then like a little container of water that I use to clean off the bag. And you know what? We need my little ink holder too. So I have a sample holder. I feel much more secure with it in there. Less likely to spill it, at least in theory. <laughs> so that's oh, the beautiful. Okay, so this is a sailor. It's a very light. 
color. Like I was expecting it to be a little bit, I think, darker. So this is four, three, five. And there's our little squiggle. And it looks like we have enough in there to do our little square. And then also our lines. So that gives me a good idea of what that's going to look like. I love doing it on this paper because you get so much variation. That's the paper I use the most often because I'm usually using these in my Hobonichi Cousin. All right, let's see here. So this one's also a violet. This is from Herbin, Herban, however you say it. And it's violet peony, peony, peonies. I think that's how you say it. So let's check this one out next and see what we get in here. So from the get, it looks a little bit darker, but I wonder if these are going to be the same color family. over there and we'll spread this one out. I think this one's going to be deeper, but we'll see. Okay, so this is Herbon. Herbin, how are you say it? some ink on the side of the pen from putting it in there, but that's okay. Comes off easy enough. I think those are nice, like, solid purples. can see a little bit of sheening, I think, on the edges of that sailor. Um, looking to see, do any of you guys have purple in you? Let me open up the second bag, because if I have more purples, I think I want to put them together. Do I remember what I got? Absolutely not. I tried to get a bunch of the newer colors. I remember that. Um, and some exclusive colors. So we should do the Lammy Blackberry. I think this is their new color, like their color of the year. Um, just look in here. Oh, this is Moss Park Green. This is a color I already have. Um, I think I meant to get the beanstalk one and just hit the wrong one. I think this is the last of the purpley ones it looks like. So let's see what blackberry looks like. Definitely very dark. Do you have another blackberry ink? Um, I think it's from Diatrimentris. And it's a scented ink. It's my only scented ink, I think. <laughs> but let's see how this one looks. Oh, 
that's a really nice color. I think this is different than the other one. We'll have to compare them once they're dried. But this seems much darker. At least that's my initial thought, like more brown than the other one I have. Oh, but I can already see like lots of color change coming up here. So we'll see. We'll see how it writes. So this one is Lammy. Blackberry. I think it's interesting how often like companies will use the same name for inks. I find it confusing sometimes. <laughs> This is such a thick ink. Oh my goodness. And it feels, I don't know, this, this one's not going as far. I think that's what makes it a drier ink. So maybe this one's a dry ink. But maybe it's just me. But I can already see a whole bunch of like, I think it's yellow that's coming out in there. Maybe gold. It's interesting. Okay, um, let's do this Robert Oster's Cherry Blossom next. I think this is going to be a nice pinkish like maybe a brownish pink color I think that's what I saw in the swatch online I love the way Goulet pens shows their like the ink colors I find it much easier to navigate and use than a lot of other ink websites I think that's why I keep on going back to them it's just intuitive to me. That's pretty. I think these are all going to be really nice inks and great additions. So let's see here. Gets on there. So let's do Robert. cherry blossom oh this one doesn't go far at all it's so interesting the difference in how much you can write with this dip pen depending on the ink because it it's not like it carries more than any you know on one dip compared to the other really it's pretty much what it is that in the wrong order, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I might like that one a lot too. We'll see. It's a different color, I think, than anything I have. Um, I think I have enough room for maybe one more on this page. And I see Noodler's Rose Coral. So let's try that one.
almost a hot pink color when it first goes down, opposed to like a true red pink. But we'll see how it dries because sometimes they go down one color and then they completely change how they look. So this was Noodlers, right? Yes. gotten a drop on my finger. We're going to let these ones dry, and since this is the last page of this book, I'm going to set it off to the side, and let's do the first um, swatch page in the new book. So, I am going to skip the first, I think, three pages, because I'll use that as an index of the colors. Um, I can show you in the other one how that will work. But, and I only do writing and stuff on one page so I don't have any issue with bleed through. <laughs> but evidently I had ink on my finger. Oh. oh well, it is what it is. We're only using this page anyhow. And because this is not the last page in here, I'm going to just slap a piece of paper underneath here. So if it does bleed through, it'll bleed through onto that paper instead of the next page in here. Let's also put our cap on here. So five down, a million to go. Um, let's see here. Which one do I want to do next? Let's try Mystic Mountain. So this is from Colorverse. It's a blue ink, I think with purple in it. But I could be wrong on that. And I think it has some shimmering qualities as well. I don't know if that's enough or not. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we're good. like splatter day here. the lid back on and just kind of turn it a couple times because I can see the elements are settling in here and I want to see if I can have it suspended as much as possible for my dips. Okay. Oh, I got it over here too. Oh my goodness. I got red everywhere. I think this color came out late last year, but I'm not positive on that. Oh, it definitely doesn't go far with the dips. Maybe this 
tip is doing better than the other two. I don't know. I can see a bunch of pink in this one. It looks really pretty. Okay, um, I know I have a bunch of other color verse ones. Um, this is color verse, that one's Sailor. Color verse Rainy Day. Looks like it's another really blue one. I don't know that this one has any like shimmer or anything qualities. So let's look at what rainy day looks like. reminds me of Lamy Blue Black looking at that. I could be wrong on those colors, but we'll see when it dries. I do like it because I do like that particular color quite a bit. So let's see here. Do color verse again. And this ink seems to go much further than the previous one, which is interesting. I wonder how much of that has to do with the shimmer tasticness of that previous ink. So we'll just do our little lines and be good. I was kind of wondering how close this would be. But there's a definite difference between like the shades of blue there. Okay, um, let's do this one. Color verse Witch by Starlight. I think this is a Goulet exclusive, um, if memory serves. So if you like this one, you do need to get it from them. Seems like it's a very rich, deep blue. Love me a good blue. So let's put that in and spread. Oh, still got a couple of water droplets. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's like we're going light, medium, and dark there. And this one definitely has some shimmer qualities to it. it makes me think of like a night sky, at least currently. I'm going to shake it again because I'm sure some of those particles have settled. I do really like the Colorverse inks, at least the ones that I have used so far. Not that I have a ton of them that I've used, but the ones I have used have been quite nice. They just, they work really well in the pens that I've used them in, and their colors are quite beautiful. So this is Witch by Starlight. I wonder how they came up with the name. I mean, it's kind of a unique name, right? But 
super pretty color. I can't wait to show these to you guys. I think you're going to love them. I know I do. Okay, we do have another color verse here. This is Nebula Glistening. I'm not sure if that's an abbreviation of it. It might be. But let's, let's give this one a shot. I can definitely tell that there is a ton of glitter qualities to this one. The variations in the shadings of the blues is just amazing to me. I think they're all quite beautiful, honestly. All right, we're gonna just shake this one a little bit before we write in the name. And then I think I'm gonna call that good for this page. And we'll take a look out that other page. Oh, this is monkey head. I missed that part of the, the name. Monkey head nebula. Glistening. And then we'll do our little square over here and we'll do some strokes. We'll dip again. <laughs> Oh, this one's going to have pink in it as well. Interesting. All right, let's set these ones off to dry. All right, let's take a closer look at some of these. So we have the Sailor 435, which is just a really nice warm purple. Um, not really much else to say about it. I mean, there is the teeniest bit of maybe sheening in there with we possibly a bluish tone, but you don't really see it in the writing. So I'm going to say it's just a solid purple and a very warm purple at that. And then you have a cooler purple below it with the Herban Violet Peonies. I believe I'm saying that right. <laughs> I do find the color variation in the swatch really cool. And it does like on the very edge of there, you can almost see just the barest hint of a sheen between that light and dark area. Again, I don't really see it in the writing sample, but that's okay. Um, again, a very solid, nice purple. So if you're looking for some purple inks, those are some nice, solid choices. Then we have the Lamy Blackberry. Now, I wasn't expecting it to sheen as much as it did. I mean, look at that. That is a lot of sheen and it's in the writing it's a lot of sheen it's almost more sheen than the undertone and i was curious about this so this is their blackberry um from lammy and then this is the other blackberry that i have it's by the atrominches and they are so like they have some similar qualities in them but this is definitely a more um, pinkish tone than this one here. This is more of a deep dusky violet type color and with that gold sheen on top. So just an interesting comparison for me. Below that we have Robert Oster's Cherry Blossom, which is a dusky pink. Um, maybe leaning a little bit towards Pink Squirrel, I think. So here's Pink Squirrel. So maybe a lighter version of the Pink Squirrel. 
That's kind of what I'm thinking. But you guys tell me what you think. So, and we do have some color variation here. It kind of has that black tone, or almost really, maybe it's a really deep pink. I'm not sure right in there. And you do see just a little bit of it in the writing around the edges of the letters, which is kind of cool. And then our last color down here, the Noodler's Rose Coral, isn't quite dry. So it kind of, it looks red in this area and pink in this area, which is kind of interesting. And it's definitely a pink tone, not a red tone, which is interesting. But there is that one. And like I said, this is still just a teeny bit wet. So I'm not like there's no sheening that I'm really seeing, just some color variation. All right, guys, these are all dry. So let's take a look here. So as far as bleed through, we've got a little bit um, with the swatches. That's pretty common. It is interesting that this, because they're all blue inks, that you have green coming through a little bit on the back on that one. But nothing else really of significance that way. But look at some of these inks. I mean, Mystic Mountain has so much shine to it. And it's like this gold shine. And I think there's some pink in there. So it almost looks rose gold. And I will say, like, I see it here and it's really nice. But in the writing sample, I mean, you see a little bit here but it really fades fast, which is something I'd heard, like the, it settles really fast. So I'm interested to see how that all work in a pen. Then we have the Colorverse Rainy Day here, which is just a really nice color. Now, I said it kind of reminded me of Lamy Blue Black. So let's take a look. Um, let's see. There's blue black. So I think they're in the same family. It's hard to tell, but I think Lammy's blue black is a little bit darker. But I think that's a really, when I start swatching these on cards, it's gonna be interesting to set those two really right next to each other so you can really tell. Then we have Colorverse Witch by Starlight. I think this so far is my favorite ink that I've gotten out of this batch and it's a little bit like Stroke of Midnight from Ferris Wheel Press. Ooh, here's Stroke of Midnight. So it kind of has that same feel, but I like this one a lot better. It's not as dark and the glitter in it is like this, it, again, it has a pinky quality to it. And you, you have just a little bit of a red sheen there on those edges as well, which is really, really nice. Like this is a color that if it works well in a pen, I, I could see myself buying a full bottle of. And then our last one here is the Monkey Head uh, Nebula Glistening. And it's a nice light, not like super light, but a lighter blue with pink shimmer. So I think this one has pink and silver, and this is just pink. Both of them are quite nice, but I love this one so much. Um, I don't see a whole lot of the glitter in the writing sample. I will say with the Witches by Starlight, there is quite a bit, at least in this part of the writing sample. So I have high hopes for it. <laughs> All right, let's go on to our next page and swatch out a couple more. I think I have five here, so we'll see if we can fit them all on this page. So let's see, let's start with this one. It's the Sailor um, Yora, Yora, I can't say these names, uh, but it's Yora, okay, it's that. <laughs> It is a, a very hard name for me to pronounce. Um, I think I've mentioned it before on the channel, but I do have dyslexia. And so sometimes pronouncing things or spelling things, it's very difficult for me. So let's see what this one looks like. 
And I would like to say thank you to the person. I wish I could remember the name um, off the top of my head, but somebody had suggested that I do my ink swatches on this side to make it easier to compare them. And oh my goodness, that was, it's like a game changer. I mean, I love having them on the inside edge because it makes it a little easier for me to write. But from a comparison standpoint, it's so much easier with them on the side. Okay, this looks like a greenish, maybe a greenish brown. Okay. I can see some pink in it as well. So let's go ahead and right in. I am going to shake it just one more time just to make sure. I don't think this one has any shimmer in it, but just to be sure. I'm seeing quite a bit of pink undertone of this. Okay, so Sailor inks are kind of, I'm discovering I kind of like them. I think they're, they write really smoothly and they have some really fun colors. Meko, maybe? I don't know. So I did I don't know if this is all its name, but it might be. Or it might be like this is a subcategory. I don't know. But either way, we'll have the full name here on the bottom. Looks like I have enough to do my square, so I'll go ahead and do that. Still have enough? Okay. This is an interesting color. Like, it's totally... Yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but it's very interesting. Um, let's see, I have four other ones here. So let's do the Diatramentist um, document turquoise. I think this is another just solid color. But we'll, we'll move it around in there just in case. but I do love a good turquoise, so I wanted, I was curious about this one. Turquoise is my favorite color, incidentally. It's definitely a very thick pigmented color. Wow. here. Yeah, that is a, that's an intense color. Don't get me wrong, I like it, but it's an intense color. Okay, so we're going to do D Ooh, that's a little much. <laughs> I think that's the thickest I've ever seen stuff come off of this dip pen. Um, so, and it's the most it's clung to the front side too. don't have to redip. <laughs> oh, I might. I might be lying here. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. So you can see that it's still, you could totally turn the tip turquoise. So I do wonder like how it would do in a pen 
like, would it stain the pen? I don't know. It's a pretty color. I like it. But it is, it is very pigmented. <laughs> okay, let me take a look here. I think I got it all out of the pipette, but I want to double check. I think we're good there. How is my bag? Oh, how did I do that? Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, let's do the Pelican Edelstein Ap Apiti. How do you say that one? Oh my goodness. And I think this is the new Edelstein ink if memory serves. Well, the new Pelican Edelstein ink. Because I think everybody's been coming out with their inks of the year. Which I guess is a, a thing, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I think this one's going to be close to the one up above it. Oh, I wonder how close, though. Oh, we're going to have to see. Oh, this is going to be super close. This one might be a little bit brighter. But they're, yeah, they're in the same family, for sure. <laughs> this one's, yeah, this one's not going to be as intense, though. They're not going to be as close as I originally thought they might be. Okay, this is Pelican. Oh, I just mixed up those letters. Oh, no, it, um, I hate when I do that. It really annoys me. Water is definitely very teal now. <laughs> Alright, two more to go. We have Diamine Best Wishes. No, it's Happy Holidays that I have. I'm like, do I have this one already? <laughs> and so I was looking over there. Nope. But let's see how this one looks. Definitely a darker blue. Yeah, another one of those really deep blues, I think is what this one's gonna be. And I really thought that the first one was gonna be more greenish, but it's more tan. Okay, this is more deep green it looks like with definitely some shimmer qualities I want to make sure I shake it up a little bit more before we do our writing flows really nicely. Yeah, this one's going to be a fun one to look at. But 
when I clean it off in the water, it again looks teal. <laughs> But I definitely see that it's green on the paper with maybe, like, maybe green and red. Okay, this last one is Diamine Enchanted Ocean, which I think is a deep blue with some really fun coloring to it. If I remember right, it has, like, some really nice shimmer. blue. Perfect. Glad we have that. All right. Oh, still got a couple of water drops on my bag. Make sure I get those off. Ooh, pretty blue. Shake it up again. And you're starting to see a little bit more of the red coming out in this best wishes. I can't wait for it to be completely dry to see how it ends. But I'm surprised by that one. Possibly because I don't remember what I ordered. But you know. Um, this one's diamond as well. I do like the really deep blues. Let's let these dry and then we'll take some closer looks at them. All right, guys, I think everything's pretty well dried. So let's take a look at these. That sailor ink that I could not pronounce really came out to a brown with like pink undertones to it. It's, it's pretty. It just wasn't what I was expecting. So I think it's going to be useful still. And I love the way it, that it wrote. You do have a little bit of outlining if you look with the lettering, which is kind of cool. Next, we have that Diatrementus document turquoise. You do get a little bit of sheening right there with it. Um, so if you have it in a very wet pen, you might see that because you can see just a little bit. And this is the wettest I've ever seen it come off that dip pen because it just really clung to it. I think it's a really pretty color and it might be my favorite turquoise that I have. Um, the one below it, the Pelican Edelstein Appa, is it Appa? No, it can't be Appetite, whatever it is. This is a much lighter turquoise. It reminds me of the ink that came in this Faber, is it Faber Castell pen? I mean, these are, I think it was pretty similar. We're gonna, um, do I have it? I have a writing sample of it. So let's see, let's see how close it is. Okay, it wasn't that one, must be this one. Oh no, this is more blue. Okay, I like this one a little better than the one that's in here. But anyhow, really nice light turquoise, kind of, like Caribbean water is what I mean. It makes me think of. Then we have the Diamine Best Wishes, which is a deep green with a red sheen and green glitter. So you can kind of see that right there. And it came out really nicely, at least the sheening portion of it. I can see a little bit of glitter in the writing, but not much. More sheen than glitter, I would say. So. I think this is going to be an amazing ink for Christmas, honestly, because it just screams Christmas with the green, with the red, and the sparkle. And then the Diamine Enchanted Ocean is so pretty. So it's this really nice gray blue with a little bit of, I think that's a reddish sheen. And then you have 
uh, blue shimmer in there. It's it looks really nice. And then in the writing sample, you do get like I still had glitter all the way to the end. Actually, it's not as pronounced here, but it is there. So. And the letters, like I can see a little bit of that sheening in various letters here. It's not like overpowering, which makes me think that I'm not going to have the smearing issues with the super sheening inks. So it's just going to have a hint of it is my feeling. And then that, a hint of that glitter as well. I really like that one as well. So um, I forgot to show you the back side here. So there are not too bad. Uh, this one has almost a neon green coming through, which is kind of interesting, but everything else is kind of as expected. Um, the Diatramentos, I've noticed that it kind of does a spotty bleed through. I'm not sure why it does that, but you can really see it here. So just something of note, but that is all I have for today. I have to go ahead and make my index in this one in case you didn't see what my index looked like. I'll kind of give you a sample here. So I did start this with all of my inks from 2023 and I made a whole video on this. So I wrote each one of the inks names here and they coordinate correlates, sorry, with the page number that it's on so that I could go here and just kind of look down the list and try and find the inks that I liked. So now it's time to add them in here. <laughs> if you, you wanna see more about that, I will link the card up above of me making these little notebooks. So until next time, I'll see you guys real soon.